Quite a load there. Would you like a lift? I ain't got far to go. How far are you going? There's a dirt road. About a mile, I expect. A mile? That's a long way. Come on, I'll give you a ride. Okay. Hey, I'll give you a hand. Boy, that thing sure is heavy. What you got in there? Oh, it just flour soft. Things like that. Here we go. It's all right. Where'd you get those groceries out there in the middle of nowhere? Pensboro. Pensboro? Is that that town I came through a ways back? Yes, sir. Must be five miles. You mean you carry that stuff all that way? It ain't so far. How old are you? Seven. When I was seven, I wasn't even allowed to cross the street. You're nice. What's your name? James Wheeler. Everybody calls me Jimmy. I got a brother named James. We call James, James. My mother used to call me James. That's good. It's in the Bible, you know. James. Nobody calls him Jimmy. <laughs> what do they call you? Gilbert. Gilbert Jenner. Gilbert? Hey, what's this? That's a camera. Now be careful. Don't put your finger on the lens. Are all these things cameras? Uh-huh. What do you do with them? I take pictures. That's my job. I take pictures, and then I write stories to go along with them. I'm what they call a photojournalist. Hey, there it is, right up there, on the right. Thanks a lot, Mr. Wheeler. Sure wish you could come and take some pictures of me and my folks sometime. Wait a minute. Okay, smile. There you go. What's this? Just keep watching. How far down that road do you live? Oh, not more than a mile. <laughs> well, do you figure you're going to catch a ride with a neighbor or something like that? Ain't got no neighbors. Hey, what's happening? Just keep watching it. I'll take you home. all this way by yourself. We've come over two miles, Gilbert. There's not even a road anymore. I'd take 
take some shortcuts. I don't think I can drive much further. Your mother's going to be worried sick about you. Ain't got no ma. I'm sorry. It really ain't much further now. Peter, he's my big brother. He knows a better road. It's longer, though. I sure hope it doesn't rain. If it does, I won't even be able to get the top up. Might need it. Just go straight ahead. Yeah. Is that what I think it is? That's the creek. Gilbert, nobody puts a road through the middle of a creek. Maybe the road was there first. It's only a few inches deep. Are you sure it's inches, not deep? It only gets high after rain. All creeks do that. Uh -huh. Come on, let's go. Johnson. 
I was wondering if you could show me the road out of here. Martha, tend to baby's nose. You know he's catching a cold. Pretty done having you join us for supper, Mr. Wheeler. Well, I'd like to. I, I really would, but I'm afraid I can't. Obliged to have you stay. Driving Gilbert home and all. Well, I appreciate the invitation, but uh, if you'll just show me the road out of here, that'll be thanks enough. Well, if you really got to go. All right, I'll show you. So long, kids. Be good. Nice to meet you. Bye, girl. Thanks for the ride, Mr. Will. You bet. Go right at the barn. Turn left to the cornfield and you'll see the road. It's gravel so the rain won't bother you none. All right, now, I go right at the barn, left to the cornfield. Now, once I get to the road, which way do I go? thousand miles, not even broken in. You got a telephone? No, sir. Looks like you'll be having supper with us now. We're spending the night. All right, good. Hold it just like that. Okay. Smile. Hold it. Right there. Just keep your eyes on. Isn't that neat? There I am. Oh, look at you. I'm going all the way to California. Uh -huh. License plate saying New York. Well, my job takes me a lot of different places. Anywhere there's an interesting story. I read about California and New York. I'll be going there myself someday. New Orleans first, though. Mardi Gras. <laughs> it sure must be something. Oh, it is. It's very exciting. Big carnival. You been there? Uh-huh. You got pictures? No, not with me. I read about it. Ma was a school teacher, you know. She had a lot of books and things. I'd sure like to meet your father. Pause away. He 
took some hogs to market. Back come Sunday, I expect. Oh. Rita, take Mr. Wheeler to see Mama. Mama? Gilbert said... Gilbert talks about it. Don't say nothing. Mr. Wheeler? Call me that. I, I don't mind really. It makes it easier for the little ones. Stepmother, are you married to their father? I'm really happy that you can stay for supper, Mr. Wheeler. I'm, I'm not much of a cook, really, but I, I'm learning. Their mother left a lot of recipes. Look, the windows are nailed shut. And what's a ball doing on that door on the wrong side? I don't like the children under my feet while I'm cooking. The children say that you're very nice. They, they like you. Peter don't like us supper this late, Mama. Everything's ready for the biscuits. Tell the girls to dish up. Well, it's not really that late, boys. I mean, it's just the time of year. And then there's the rain. But I guess it's early to bed and early to rise on the farm, isn't it? Lots of chores to do, especially with your father being away. It ain't so bad. It's a lot of fun sometimes, too. Oh, I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. Particularly when you're young. But then, you know, Peter, Peter doesn't seem to be enjoying it too much. But I guess he'll be going away soon. Oh, no. Paula said the family sticks together. Like in the Bible. Peter told me to show you to the supper table. hand we must be fed. Give us, Lord, our daily bread. Amen. Gilbert, let me try. It's my turn. It's your turn tomorrow night. Rita, you lost your turn because you hit James last week. Now, do you want to go to your room? Gilbert. God is great. God is good. And we thank him for our food. By his hand we must be fed. Give us, Lord, our daily bread. Amen. I don't want no fat. I ain't got no potatoes. James, you want pass the corn? Get a bit of beans there. James, not to be a penis. I kind of like carrots. Well, they're good for you. Have a few. I like blackberry jelly. Why ain't there no blackberry jelly, Mama? Because you went fishing yesterday instead of collecting the berries. Tomorrow, if the rain lets up, I'll expect two full boxes of big thimble berries. Maybe Pa would like... Maybe Mr. Will would like to go with you. You can kind of show him around a little. Hey, that'd be great. I know a patch where they're so big they're dragging the ground. Well, thanks anyway, but I'll be leaving tomorrow as soon as I get a tow truck out here. I figure I can catch a ride into Pinsboro in the morning. 
Don't you just love ham, sir? Mm. Hi, Peter. I butchered a beauty last fall. I bet he weighed in at over 800. <laughs> you dressed down on my five. You like the mashed potatoes, too. Yeah. We get fresh milk every morning. Peter. See how nice and fluffy they are? Butter's ready, right. too. Mama turned just this morning. Yeah, but you put them biscuits back. I just wanted... Yeah, I know what you wanted. Now, how many times I got to tell you them dogs don't get nothing but meat? But they love biscuits better than anything. Mm-hmm. So as they can get fat and soft and lazy. That's all we need around here is a pack of no account hounds. They ain't no account. We, they do anything we tell them. And we're going to keep them that way. Dogs hunting biscuits ain't no good for nothing. Now, you drink your milk. Peter. When's your father coming home? Why don't you eat your supper, Pa? Both their parents died five years ago. Five years ago? Ma, that girl's a baby. Pa drank five gallons of his own makings and fell off the roof. Five years ago? But what about the neighbors, the people in town? Come on now, everybody finish up. It's getting on bedtime. Wait a minute, I, I just can't believe this. I mean, somebody must have known something. Pa didn't look strange. Nobody came around much. He was a good shot, Pa. I'm just like him. Right, Peter? You're getting there. What do you do for money? How do you pay the gas bills? And what about your schooling? Their mother was a qualified school teacher and she left instructions for their schooling. There's natural gas on the property and the company gives it to them free for as long as they... We got plenty of money, too. And Pa used to sell whiskey. You're gonna get a switching, Gilbert, buttoning in like that. And I told you to drink your milk. I'm sorry, Peter. All right, Peter, look, look, I want to get something straight right now. As soon as that tow truck gets out here tomorrow, I'm leaving. Now, I don't know what this mama and papa stuff is about, but I don't like games. And she is not your mother. Just who are you? Well, my name's Caroline Henderson, and I'm... Well, it ain't a game, really. I'm their mama, and, uh... Peter, please tell him. I wish somebody would tell me something that Caroline makes sense. Caroline came to help us out, that's all. We was figuring maybe you'd like to help out, too. Youngins need grown-ups. Somebody to teach them, to tell them what to do, punish them when they need it. If you don't want to. Where's my bag, my camera equipment? I put it all in your room, sir. Upstairs, I know that. Thanks. Let's see that room. It will stay. Till morning. Then you can take your funny farm and... Good night. Mama. Wait a minute, what are you doing? Oh, 
Well, that's all right. I, I, I'm only going to be staying uh, to... you'd stay till morning. That was before I got locked in my room. Now, do you want to stay in this menagerie or do you want to go? Oh, we can't go now. I mean, they must have seen you come in here. They're downstairs singing. Well, Martha can't sing. She's like a cat. She, she sees and hears everything. Look, they're just a bunch of weird kids with some crazy ideas their father pounded into them. I don't know. Maybe he wanted to protect his bootlegging business. How did you get mixed up in this? I picked up Gilbert just the same way as you did. There's a bunch of clothes in my room, different sizes, and things with different initials on them. We're not the first. There was another man, an older man. One morning he was gone. Peter said he went into the town to get a mechanic, but he never came back. And the car just disappeared. All right, look. We're just a mile and a half from the highway. The rain has slacked off. We are leaving right now. We can't go. Don't you understand? We're prisoners. They're just a bunch of kids. Their eyes and ears for Peter. And the dogs, you heard him, they're trained. A pack of hound dogs? Put it on.
We can't get ten feet from this house. You better get some sleep. In the daylight, things will look a lot better. Good night. I told you not to mess with guns lest I show on you. Aw, oh, Pity, you not to kill him. And I told you not to bring no more vomits into the house. He wouldn't have hurt nobody. I told you he wouldn't stay in old shoebox. Somebody must have let him out. Would you tease him again? I never touched him. Every time I turned my back, he was a pecking on his fire, didn't I? He did too. All right. Circles to every story and two sides to every side. Wish I didn't have to worry about doing what is right. I promise to stay with you, but now I want to leave. And maybe some kind stranger will keep you company If I'm here in the morning, my mind will be on the sea When the sun sets in the evening there's no telling where I'll be I promise to stay with you But now I have to leave And maybe some kind of stranger Will keep you company Cause mama said the day would come when the family Sleep late. It's almost eight o'clock. 
Oh, I've been known to sleep as late as 8.30, 9 o'clock, especially after a night like last night. Caroline, my car is gone. I've got chores. Everyone's had breakfast. I could heat up some uh, biscuits and ham. No, thanks. I'm sorry, but I don't eat before noon. And when my almost brand new $7,000 car just disappears, after failing to start, I just might lose my appetite altogether. Well, the boys are going to fix it. They're very handy with machinery. Jimmy, please. That's all right. Just do your chores. I'm sorry. I'm not feeling very gentlemanly this morning. All right, John. Where's my car? Well, good morning. You better get some breakfast in you, Paul. Or Peter figured to clear some brush today. John, where is my car? And don't call me Paul. No, boys. Easy. Easy. Um, you better turn me loose, Mr. Williams. Just say something nice and low. Hello, boys. Take it easy now. Now, John, uh, I want you to tell me where my car is, or I'm going to give you a wallop and you are not going to forget, and that is only the beginning. Never try and punish us in front of the dog, sir. Where is Peter, John? Look, it's not right to steal other people's property. Now, look, just tell me where Peter is, and I'll talk to him, and after that, I'll decide whether or not you need a whipping. Oh. Well, he's out the swimming hole. I can't go till I finish old Beth here. She's a gray old milking cow. Good for a full bucket, too. Which way to the swimming hole? Uh, around the barn. Through the cornfield, past some trees. Oh, it's over here on the way you hear them. <laughs> After morning chores, it's a whooping holler time around here. my car. And I'm going to be very upset if you fooled around with that motor. We never touched the motor, sir. Peter? Can you swim, sir? The water's nice and warm. Peter, I don't have time to waste swimming. Now, I just want you to take me to my car, that's all! 
Yes, sir. James, give me a hand with the boat. You didn't drag it across the river, did you? Peter, listen, if you've gotten water in that gas tank, I... Will this thing float? Get in. of the creek. What happened? John upset the boat. He did it as a prank. The other children pulled you out. They all swim like fish. I know what they swim like. I must have hit my head. Hey, stay lie down. They ran my new car right down to the bottom of the creek. And there was a red one down there and a blue one and a green one. Jimmy, they're going to boat. Vote? On us. Whether they keep us as parents or not. They're going to vote on us? This is like a bad dream. It's like a joke. If they vote no... Look, you said there were others. And they must have voted on them. That explains those cars at the bottom of the creek. They like us. I know they do. And they'll vote yes. If they do, that'll give us the time to think of a way to get out of here. Caroline, I am not going to wait around to go on trial by a bunch of crazy kids. Uh, would you mind getting me a pair of pants? I'm sure my size is in that closet. Where are they now? They're eating. Peter went to cut a willow switch for you to use on John for tipping the boat up. Oh, a willow switch. They want punishment. Well, I don't. I've had enough. I'm getting out of here. Jimmy. Look, I'll make my way to Pensboro and I'll get help. You don't understand. They won't let you go. They'll kill you. Caroline, look. I've survived Vietnam. A rotten marriage. I'm indestructible. Now, would you please get me some pants? I'm not going to punish you for spilling the milk, John. I think you know that. But that business with the boat was something else. Somebody could have got hurt. You have to learn about jokes like that. Well, how's just funning, sir? There's nothing wrong with that as long as everybody knows you're playing. But that's not the way it happened. Peter. 
You're going to have to take the dogs off somewhere. They won't make no fuss. I'll see to it. Now, look. I don't want everybody standing around. You wouldn't want it that way if it was your turn. This is just between a father and a son. They could all use a switching. They come near the deep water when I told them not to. They had to help Pa, Peter. I'd have took care of that. Peter, them was cars down there. I'd bet on it. That was junk metal, just like I told you. Pa throwed it in there years back. If I catch you swimming near there again, you're going to get something you've never had before. Nobody's going to go swimming. It's too dangerous. Somebody might get a foot caught in that old junk metal. Peter, you're going to have to take the dogs off. Caroline, you and the girls take care of the ironing. Let's go hunting, Peter. Dogs ain't had a real good run in a long time. Peter, if you want to, you could, uh, you could help pull those stumps out. And after you finish, maybe uh, we could go hunting in a couple of days. Ah, oh, come on, Peter. I don't want to dig up no All right. Come on. We'll look up on the back of the ridge. inside that shed, and I want you to think about what you did. Try and figure out why it was wrong. Then you're gonna switch me? I want you to think, John. Sometimes thinking's worse than a switching. Go on. soon enough. Want to, Mama? 
If you stay, Jimmy, I will. Nobody's forcing you to stay. If I'm taking over this family, that's the way it's going to be. And there'll be no more locked doors. Is that understood, Peter? Peter? Yes, sir. All right. You've got your parents now. You can finish your supper. Ma, we cleaned up the supper dishes. Good night. Good night, Peter. Good night, Pa. Good night, Peter. They really want to go. There'll be time enough tomorrow. I didn't lock the doors tonight. But if they try to go off by themselves, the dogs... Remember that big red rooster we had? I like to have scratched the person's eyes out. What happened when we put that rooster in the hen house instead of keeping him pinned in the barn? He got fat and sassy and nice as pie. Let's just take another look at our rooster in the morning. Peter? I don't recollect Paul throwing no junk in the creek. Just too young to remember. Yeah, but it looked like cars. We've all stayed together, ain't we? Like Pa said. Yeah. But I told you it'd be your turn soon. To shoot and all. Well, there's something else. When you're old enough. But Peter. If we vote no on these two tomorrow, there'll be time enough to tell you. Tell me what, Peter? Good night, John. worse at night. I've got an idea. Come on. Have we got any more of this stuff? Cornbread? Get it.
game. There are traps everywhere. I know. But just keep moving, keep your eyes open, and take your time. It wasn't right, Caroline, what you done. You lied just like him. That ain't no good way for parents to be. He wanted to get help, Peter. For all of you. We don't need no help. As long as we stay together. You ain't gonna give us no more trouble. He's okay, Amy. He didn't mean nothing bad. Oh, he's fine. I got him tied up real good, Peter. All right. We vote now. Please, Peter, not yet. Let me talk to him. He won't try and run away again. I said we vote now. Yes, he stays. He's our pa. We'll do like he says. No. He goes, just like the others. James? Keeps trying to run away. I vote no. Rita? I like him. I think Caroline's right. I vote yes. It's one yes and one no. Gilbert? I think you'd make a fine pa. I picked him. I vote yes. It's two yes and one no. Baby? Baby can't vote. He doesn't understand. He's family. He voted yes on you, remember? We all did. Baby, do you want Mr. Wheeler to stay or go? Go. It's two and two. 
John? Don't matter much to me, Peter. Whatever you say. John, you like him. You know you do. He didn't take the switch to you. He made you think. He, he gave you the chance to figure out right from wrong. Now, this is family, Caroline. I want you to hear it. But you got no right talking. You voted yes on me. You voted me, your mama. Yeah, but that's all different now. After what you've done. You see, you're with him. You showed us that. So however the vote goes for him. All right, John's holding back his vote. Martha? Three yes and two no. Since John's going along with however I vote, it's four no and three yes. In the morning, you both come. you and John to stay behind and take his place. The other children don't even know. But you know. You know what happened. You know how those cars got to the bottom of the creek. Do you want to be responsible for that? Martha, cut me loose. Cut me loose. some sleep. You better get some sleep too. You'll be leaving in the morning. Good night, Mr. Wheeler.
Where are they? I don't know. Let's get out of here. Goodbye, Mr. Wheeler. Caroline. It's all over, Peter. All you had to do was stay. Be our folks. Wouldn't have been so bad. You're like all the others. Nobody cares. I can't let you go, Mr. Wheeler. It's not like the others, Peter. Not this time. Your brothers and sisters, they'll know. They'll believe what they're told, like always. You're wrong, Peter. I told you to go to the swimming hole. Now go, all of you. It ain't right, Peter. We voted to let him go. Paul wouldn't want us to hurt nobody. We'll get somebody else like we always done. If they left, they'd send somebody to break us up. I'm only doing it for you, don't you see? No, you're not, Peter. You're doing it for yourself. No. How else are you going to get out of here? How are you going to keep from being stuck with those kids all the rest of your life? See all those places you've been dreaming about? California, New Orleans, Mardi Gras? That ain't true. Yes, it is true, Peter. Whether you like it or not, it is true. You're trying to confuse me. I'm trying to help you. I love those kids. Do you? Then put that gun down. Put it down, Peter. Please. People stopped, I thought they'd help. It ain't fair. People should help other people. If Peter done wrong, he didn't mean it, Mr. Wheeler. I know that, John. Peter? There are people, special people, who can help you. They understand. You will too, after a while. Will we ever be a family again? That's up to Peter. Maybe we ought to take a walk into Pennsboro, Mr. Will. Even in your deep serenity 
I'm tired of dying lonely I'm gonna get what I need And maybe some kind stranger Will keep me company To every story And two sides To every side Though I promise To stay with you Now I have to leave I hope That some kind Stranger Will keep you company